today I'm going to show you how to use the AKS. This is from Rat Pack. There are several other versions of wireless routers like it, but this is the one that we use the most in our Beijing office. I'm going to show you how to use it. How to link up specifically. Here you see the light on the Rainbow 2 blinking because it's looking for something to wirelessly connect to. The way you turn on the wireless connection is you go to configure, you go to uh, you can put your DMX channel on one if you want to start it off. You choose your number of pixels, the profile you want, and you go to wireless settings. You can choose wireless DMX. There's also options for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. For now, we're going to use wireless DMX. And you go back. You make sure the status light is on, which it is. That's the status light. And then you turn on your AKS by holding it for one, two, three, four, five seconds. And the way you would link is you click this button here, RF link, one time for it to go and find the light. It should take about 10 seconds. Please go back now. This blinking should take about 10 seconds. And there, it's linked. Okay, so now I have my AKS here linked up to my Rainbow 2. What you're gonna do now is go into your Wi-Fi settings and choose Rat Pack AKS. But for me, I don't want to use, I'm, people use Luminaire, it's a very common option. For me today, I want to use my iPad. So you go into my iPad, I go to settings, same, I go to my Wi-Fi setting, and I'm going to choose Rat Pack AKS. It's gonna link. So this has a Wi-Fi that connects directly to the AKS. Usually you have to keep it quite close to get a good signal. Then you close that and you can open the blackout app. Boom. And as you can see here, I've got many different uh, channels for the 48 pixels here, one through 48. I can play an effect. You can see there's an effect playing behind me right now which is being controlled by all 48 pixels. Cool.